Hi, I'm Sean with Red Tech. Today we're gonna to go over formatting media. And although formatting mags is something we all do day in, day out, and probably don't give much thought to it. Uh, sometimes there are scenarios where you may wanna do a secure format. There are certain situations that may necessitate a secure format. Whenever you're formatting a mag, you are erasing all the data off of it. So make sure you have backed up that footage, hopefully to redundant sources. So we'll go over some of the scenarios where you need to do a secure format. Some of those situations might be if you are gonna use pre-record or if you previously used pre-record on that mag, do a secure your format. If you are deleting files off of that mag using a computer, if you're dropping files onto a mag from your computer, let's say LUTs, presets, firmware, after you've moved those into camera, do a secure format. Also, when moving a mag from different camera systems, let's say from a weapon to an Epic, good time to do a secure format. Another opportunity for you to utilize the secure format function would be, let's say, if you are renting your media or if you just gotta hand this mag off to somebody to utilize after you. If you do a secure format, they will not be able to recover that secretive, possibly incriminating footage that you've been shooting on that mag. Uh, on the other end of that spectrum, if you just do a basic format and the footage wasn't backed up or the hard drives were damaged or lost, as long as you have not started recording onto that mag already, you can run that mag through Red Undead and you could possibly recover the footage. So let's go over the basic process for formatting a mag. Let's say I've shot as much as I can or as much as I want to to this mag. I'll hit user buttons one and two. That will safely eject the media. I'll then move that over, have that backed up, have the backup verified. And then at that point I can reuse this mag. I'll reinsert that. You'll see sometimes it takes a little bit longer for a mag to mount or unmount based on how much you've shot on it. Easiest way to enter the media menu would be to tap on the media percentage down here. That shortcuts me into there. Uh, it's telling me I have 149 clips already recorded on here. From here, I'll hit format media. This page allows me to force it to a real number other than the next increment. I can change the camera ID or camera position. I can force the start of edge code, although that's not very commonly used. Down here on the format button, it's telling me I will erase 149 clips if I format this mag. I'm gonna hit that and it's once again gonna warn me I will lose 149 clips on this media if I format the mag. It may seem redundant, it may seem like overkill, but we realize footage is everything to you at times and we also realize how chaotic shooting environments can get. So I'll hit format. And from there I'm ready to reuse that mag and start shooting again. The secure format process starts the same. You just need to enter the media menu and instead of hitting format media, I'll go to utilities. I'll hit secure format. You'll see that a secure format takes a bit more time than a basic format. That's because the camera has a little more work to do, but you shouldn't find yourself needing to do a secure format on every mag every time you format. Just some of those circumstances that we discussed before. If you find yourself needing to use a computer to delete files off of the mag, I suggest you take a look at our DSMC Media Ops Guide. You can download that on red.com support along with a bunch of other good reading material. Uh, but whenever possible, I would erase footage by formatting in camera. It's safer, more efficient process, and it's relatively quick. That's about it for formatting media. This is Sean with Red. Go check out some more of our Red Tech videos or just go pick up that camera and go shoot something great.